What is going on guys and welcome back to the WCW My GM series. Well, we will be starting season three today with the big draft. A couple notes, I hope you guys enjoyed the two ranking videos I did over the weekend. Um, if, if you wanna see me do more ranking videos in the future, uh, leave some comments on those videos, maybe drop a comment here, it's all good. Uh, and again, thank you for the continued support on the channel with everyone liking the videos, commenting, uh, on the videos and subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot so again thank you for that and uh, without further ado let's get into the draft so here we are at the draft we again we're picking third because we won our second consecutive season go us and then i did notice something a little bit funny though from last episode one of the main reasons i didn't keep charlotte and a couple of the others with their stamina were so low but as you can see here the stamina has been reset I'm pretty sure Sami Zayn's stamina actually got worse, which is very strange. And the, the one we can definitely check here is Dolph Ziggler had a stamina of 19 at the end of Season 2, and just all of a sudden it's at 76. So it's a huge advantage for SmackDown. They are a little, well, they are a, a lot behind us at the moment, but look, the start they have right now of three wrestlers at 100 popularity, one at 98, and then a couple in the high to mid 80s. That's a really good start for SmackDown. So we... Uh, I think we really need to draft good here. Um, so what are we going to do? What, uh, we should go back to my show. So we have the rivalry of Sami Zayn and Tyler Bate going. I did that on purpose to uh, to keep that rivalry going. They're not in the 90s, their popularity, but both 86 is pretty solid. So to keep that going. Flint McStones is expecting uh, a title match in uh, in the next two weeks. And we have an open open title right now. So let's go find him let's go sort this by class and find him a heel fighter i don't think there are too many of those there are a ton of bruisers but fighters seem to be a bit more a bit more sparing uh we can go with randy orton welcome him back to wcw he'll cost 250 or finn balor who will cost about twenty thousand dollars less to go you know i think i'm gonna go randy orton because that stamina is so high we can get it going right away so welcome back to the show randy orton we will go ahead and do i want to get gunther on the squad haven't had him uh, haven't had him yet um what will we do we get uh <clears throat> ray mysterio back you can see now or we could go you get Kevin Owens and either start the the tag team feud with him and Sammy or I don't know it's tough man there's just there's so many bruisers and not that many male fighters um I haven't, I haven't had Roman Reigns yet I'm gonna go ahead and pick Roman for WCW Raw's gonna go ahead and select Ezekiel okay SmackDown's got Dakota Kai. It's a good pick. She had 88 popularity. SmackDown picked Bianca Belair. Got her back. And Raw takes Roxanne Perez. Wow. Taking my stars I built up. Eh? Okay. I got another. I got a heel. Uh, heel bruiser. So going to try to class that up with someone I saw here. Where did he go? Where did he go? Shinsuke Nakamura. This is a sick show lining up right now. And then, oh yeah, it's my turn again. And I guess I need to get some women on the show. Let's do this by popularity. Um, all the popular women here were used to be on my show. Look, four of the five tops are available were coming from my show. Except Carmella. So I want to change things up a bit. Get a fighter here. Take it back. Who has good stamina? Queen Zelina. Hmm. Well, Ronda's went way down. Um. Stick with the uh, stick with what works here, and I keep uh, keep Rhea Ripley on the brand. Raw is gonna go Drew McIntyre. Was that a fighter or a bruiser? I think it was a bruiser. And SmackDown's gonna go grab Shayna Baszler. And then one of the few fighters remaining in Finn Balor. Okay, so we had Rhea, who's a bruiser. There was... I can I can go get Carmella. There you go. And then that's the... Um, 
That could be the women's feud. Well, I'm running out of money fast. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then, who's down near the, near the bottom here with some good stamina? Xia would be kind of cool, haven't had her yet. And is there another bruise? A lot of the fighters are on the women's side. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get Xia Lee. And then... Yeah, but there's no... I'm gonna pick Xia Lee. Saving some money there and getting a new... A new wrestler that we haven't used yet. Smackdown goes against Solo Sokoa. And Akira Tozawa. We need one more women's wrestler. Um, Xia Li is a face, right? Yeah. There are no... Yeesh. There are no... Bruisers, get a couple specialists here. Charlotte costing the big money. Hmm. Uh, is it crazy to just end it here? Can I end it here? I will have nine people on the roster and see what's in the free agency because I have a ton of uh, a ton of GM um, extended contracts. So can I end it here? End draft confirm. Yeah, we can. Yeah, okay, Flint McStones. Let's go, buddy. That that's a that might be a risk, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what these guys end off money wise, which is annoying because I did have so much money left. But hopefully, we can put some good power cards to use. SmackDown down to two hundred thousand. Raw pick Ivar, and then Wes Lee. They're into the two hundreds as well. Wow, okay, this is interesting from SmackDown. They're under a hundred thousand, okay. Oh wow. That's definitely a choice. JD McDonough. Okay, good choice. Raw's under a thousand also. But they went into round twelve, they kept four. They have sixty in SmackDown of seventeen wrestlers. Interesting. We have no and no titles on any of our um any of our wrestlers. Everything was kind of stripped by the free agents. So uh, we will see here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> we should still be starting with seven trophies. Oh, no. We, should, we don't get a trophy for winning. You have to win three seasons to get another trophy. Interesting. Okay. I was born for this. What's Kurt Angle going to say? I'm taking SmackDown to the top. Power rankings are staying there. Okay. You have a lot of ground to make up. Not saying it's impossible because your show is looking really good. But, uh, yeah. So we'll have to watch that. Um, so yeah, I have six, uh, six trophies. You have a million dollars in the bank though, which is really good. Even for this show, I'm going to have to at least get two more people on the roster. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go to free agents. Yeah, permanent 300,000. So that's going up as well. I have to watch out for that. Any bruiser women on the roster? Billy Slugger. <laughs> That's for 10 weeks. I do have a, a superstar card too. That could keep her around. Um, hmm. Did I go right by one before? No, Carmelo Hayes again. Wasn't too happy with me last time. Okay, hold on. And Legends who are... Oh yeah, a couple of the, uh, the Bella Twins there. They did really well for us last time. I can just bring in one and have her feud with uh, Xia Li. But at the same time, her popularity is way, way higher. Hmm. <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Do we bring in Hollywood Hogan? NWO rating WCW? Potentially. That could be something there. Actually, he has really good... He has really good stamina, too. Uh, where am I going? Was there any fighters here? Dexter Loomis. <laughs> the feud we, we, we all didn't know we wanted. Dexter Loomis versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Um, what is that? 
Sammy Vortex? What on earth? Hey, Brute Force! He, uh, he was one of uh, Luke Owen's guys over at uh, Parts Funknown. Um, what are we gonna do here? Sammy Vortex is really scary. <laughs> we will go ahead and wait, I think. Let's just, let's just see what we have going here. We are gonna do the uh, opening match of Bait vs Zane, normal. And then uh, Extreme Rules match of Flint McStones versus who is the heel fighter? Randy Orton for the World Heavyweight. Did that carry over actually? Oh yeah, it did, good, okay. So we promised that to uh, Flint, he's gonna get it. Uh, what's this? And ensure that your, your least popular available fighter is in a match. Who is that? No, that's Xia Li. Oh, no. Yes! Three-way match. Let's go. Okay, okay. So start this feud of Roman Reigns versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And then, unfortunately, because we can't do a triple threat title match, we can do a triple threat... Will this start this here? Hopefully that's the rivalry that starts. And then Zyli over there, get the Commissioner goal. What is the Commissioner goal? Another Hell Spa. So that is solid. Um, don't have the money like we once had, so it was a good thing that we, were, we grabbed all the power cards while we could. We have two injury rehabs, that's great. Superstar training, which is great. Oh, beginner's luck too. And I think we had it to the moon as well. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Very good. Um, okay, so what we are going to... Now I need three, though. It has to be in a match, too. So we need three. And so what are we going to do? A lot of giant cruisers. The, fighter, the fighters are really... Uh, not a lot of fighters to available. Like De there's Dexter Lumos and that's it. Permanent Ray Mysterio going up against permanent. Oh, that's that's five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That's insane. Um, it looks as if the the legends make more sense almost at the moment. Hulk Hogan one twenty four for ten weeks. Maybe make some money and then. Then come back, but again, no fighters. Or re reignite, or get, th did we ever get that? Stone Cold versus Hogan? I don't think we did, and I'm pretty sure I had a comment that was like, you have Stone Cold and Hollywood Hogan right there. So, yeah. Both are 10 weeks, right? We're just under a million now, and we can get one more. And I think it's going to be... I'm going to do two more, and it's going to be Sammy Vortex, because... No, it's not. I'm going to check to see what the season goals are. Okay, good. Got the first one immediately. Um, gain 225 popularity between all your roster. Okay. One-on-one uh, -on -one matches. That's going to take no time. Book five shows a GM interference. Fulfill five promises, so I'll get one right away. Book eight shows the perfect drama curve. Nice. 12 commissioner goals. Uh, the submission matches. Okay, we can do that. Uh, this looks like it's going to be another trophy. It's in the bag, so that is good. Did anything with signing people of... You know what? I can get a lot of popularity by signing... Sammy Vortex. Great. That'll be the show for now. Uh, our roster is currently now at 13, I believe. 14 potentially uh, I should just go look at it 12 okay <clears throat> I'm gonna book this we'll do a couple of call outs between Stone Cold calling out Hollywood Hogan and then vice versa try to get the double increase there and then a self promo from promo skill one, Sammy Vortex, who is a giant. So we can look for a cruiser next week and that should be okay. These are all normal matches. Maybe I'll add a little something to this. 
Hopefully increase that. It's the title match extreme rules. All right, that looks good. Hopefully the rivalry starts between Rhea and Carmella there. And yeah, no bonus here, which is unfortunate. Um, but we'll get the bonus there and bonus there. And the show's not too much, so hopefully we make some cash as well. Uh, do I want to play any power cards on this? Ooh, I could... Oh, that's for next week. I think I had a double... Uh, did I have a double cost card? It looks like I'm making it up. Oh, but I have... I Oh, yes, I forgot about WCW. Okay, got that back, and we should have another free show to book because of Eric Bischoff. Free booking, no. Free arena booking, no. That's the one. We have two of these now, which is fantastic. And I will play this on Raw. Just cause. And then maybe to just get, to, I will use one of these right now actually. Use that up so we get a free uh, free booking and then hopefully we make some, some nice cash for next week to continue signing some, uh, some free agents. Cause they are, the further you go in season, the, the more expensive the wrestlers start being. So that is something to look out for. So I think that's good. That opener should get us at least three and a half stars. That main event hopefully should get us at least three and a half stars. So I think we should be doing pretty good. Tyler Bate versus Sami Zayn. Continuing on their rivalry. Sami Zayn picks up a big win. Rivalry grows to three. That's perfect. That'll be good for the, the first PLE, which is great. From level one to level two. So that worked out really well. Also, Roman Reigns versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Nax picks up the big win. Two star, would like that to be a bit higher, but uh, rivalry was started. So that's at two, we like that. Rhea Ripley, Carmella, Zia Lee. Rhea Ripley picks up the big win and starts a feud with Carmella, which is great. Sammy Vortex, okay, plus two, we like that. Then, will Flint McStones win the title? He will! Flint McStones in a four star amazing match is the WCW champion. <laughs> I, I I didn't even realize to see if the uh, <laughs> if the, the the rivalry started there. Just too excited. But we have a Falls Count any wow, this is interesting right off the bat. Falls Count anywhere match for the US title. Specials versus Cruiser, tag team titles on the line in the main event, and Indy Hartwell versus Roxanne Perez in the mid card. That looks like to be a pretty good show from Raw. And then over on SmackDown, no promos are used. Two title matches in the mid cards. I think this is a mistake, but we will see. So Raw best opener. Yeah, Raw's card was sick. Uh, four, three, three and a half, three and a half for Raw. SmackDown, well, I stand corrected. Just their opener was terrible, which was LA Knight versus Santos Escobar. That didn't go over well. Uh, Raw had good booking and we had good booking because our opener was only three and a half star. But uh, good start. No rivalry created between uh, Mick Stones and Randy Orton, but we'll look uh, to change that this, uh, this upcoming week. Show quality C, match card quality B. 27,000 fans up and hopefully big money here. Yeah, let's go. Taking us over a million, which is great. Show quality D from Raw. They gained 1,000 fan, 1, fans on us. They are under 200,000. Play the limited stock on them. Show quality D, match card quality C from back at 17,000. Yeesh, that's not great. But uh, yeah, so we, oh, we got it to the moon, which is good. Health spot. Why do we get it to the moon? Let's skip that too quickly. But uh, okay, we still. Oh, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big gap in fans. We have the 350. I, I forgot to take a look at that because of the uh, um, fan retention on last episode's WrestleMania match card. We are now up to over 300,000 fans over Raw. Second week before extreme rules. Ooh. Select an opposing brand, reduce two of their rivalries by one level. Okay, so if I... So that's The Rock. The Rock. Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan and Sami Zayn and Tyler Bay, right? Those are the only options. 
That's annoying. That's, that's because that just took away my, that just took away my bonus I was going to have for this show, which is super, super annoying. Okay, let's check that out. Manage the roster. So that's at level one. That's at level two like we thought. And then this is now back to level one. So that is su super annoying. Hmm. Okay, we have a couple at one though, so that's fine. Um, what are we gonna do? We will have, we will check uh, power cards. Uh, get the, yes, these are constantly going up. These are now up to $60,000 each. It looks like they go up by $5,000 per, uh, per season, so that's big. We have one, uh, two, three, four, five. So that's good. We have five. We have five match like boots cards. So that's really good. I'm gonna play this on Sammy Vortex. Let's see if we can find a bruiser and a cruiser in the women's division. Oh, Butch, let's go, buddy. Um, it needs to be a face cruiser though there are two heels of course three heels all cruisers too <laughs> okay and the other one was a bruiser we needed which they don't have stacked mix slacks <laughs> that is fantastic uh, okay wow that's super annoying about uh about these. Uh, Lita. Is Lita a face in Legends if she's there? Ooh, why are you a heel? It's edge, Lita. Okay. Um, Kevin Nash. Relieve him for now. Hmm. Could do a... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Sign free agent. One of these are permanent. They ten weeks, five weeks. Alexa Bliss permanently, and then I'll switch her around. But then the problem is you don't have anyone to go else go out else after. Like, so it's actually better to be rentals. So Eo Sky will do instead. Okay, book show. We can have. A low stamina but a hundred popularity let's go we'll do this as the opener because both their popularity is pretty solid we'll do uh we will do this this we will go who is there ever been like a face giant well we're gonna make one we're gonna build one right now and scary sammy vortex people cheer for abaddon right even though she's like kind of a heel, I think people want to cheer for her. So we're going to do that role change and then a call out by EO. And hopefully we can find a, bru a face bruise or a heel bruiser for, uh, for uh, Zia Lee. So we can look to do that. Their stamina can do one more match together. And then this one as well. This is all level ones. They're not level two there, but we're not gonna get the bonus for that stupid card that Mick Foley just played on us. And then we can do a, uh, a call out of Randy Orton on Mick Stones. Like that, like that show. Um, we will do both stamina is pretty solid here. Just picturing Hulk Hogan in any of these matches is funny. Uh, do extreme rules. Good. This can be tables. Yeah. And that's it. What was the commissioner goal? Do not book your most popular specials this week. Uh, is that that has to be Tyler Bate, right? He's the only specialist I think at the moment. What are you offering me, Triple H, to do this? I have a ton of those, so that's fine. 
Power cards this week. We said we had enough of these. I have 16 weeks in contracts to add. That's good. And then an extra five to my two legends right now who are both on 10, I believe. That right, should be nine weeks remaining and nine weeks remaining. And then permanent and then 10 for EO. Okay, so that's good. Uh, again, just annoying we're missing out on this bonus because we would have had it. And then, but, and then I got to do GM interferences, eh? So let me do a GM interference for... Um, do I want to have one of these guys getting mad at me? Probably not, to be honest. GM interference for Roman Reigns. Nakamura will be upset. He's already he's already left once, so let's see if uh, he'll do it again. Uh, yeah, everything booked. Got that optional bonus too now. Good, good. Uh, roster is looking good. Now we're at thirteen. Anybody else? No, no one really fit the bill. Okay, that looks good. No title matches. That might hurt a bit. Wait a minute. There we go. And just because we can. Yeah. Perfect. Let's get it going. Will Rhea once again be the WCW Women's Champion? She will. She wins all the time. Four star match. It's only uh, it's only at level two right now. Sammy Vortex, now a face. Tyler Bate versus Sami Zayn. Let's go up to level three again. It uh, will. And Sami Zayn with no another three and a half star match. Basically redoing what we did last week. Calling out. I did two. Oh my god. Uh, talk about not paying attention, eh? Well, that's embarrassing. Hmm. Guess that one, uh, that's on me. That's a waste of part of the EOS guy's contract. Wow, that's annoying. Okay, Roman Reigns gets the win with the GM interference from Eric Bischoff in a three-star match, so that's good. A call out by Randy Orton, that works. Puts the, that rivalry up one. And then in Extreme Rules, Stone Cold versus Hulk Hogan. Stone Cold is the winner in a great three-and-a-half-star match. The rivalry doesn't grow. That is, uh, that's tough. That is a tough show from me, especially with that stupid role, uh, role change mix-up. This is what? This should be specialist. Spe this is going to be a five-star match. Probably both their popularities are 100. All their titles, basically, are on the men's side are involved in that match. So we'll see what that gets them. Uh, and SmackDown, again, not booking promos. LA Knight versus Sol Skoa. And a bruiser versus bruiser, so that's not going to be good. But that main event should be pretty solid. That opener only got four and a half stars. That's surprising. That main event from Raw is terrible. What was that? Okay, that's strange. But still got good booking for how good the opener was. SmackDown's opener was... Well, yeah, that, I saw that coming. 1.5 stars. Main event got four, so that's good. And uh, we got good booking for a four-star opener and a three-star main, a three and a half-star main event. Uh, that grew, grew, grew. What a mistake! Uh, and grew. All right. Show quality B, so that's good. Match card quality B as well. Made another hundred and seventy-seven thousand, so that is good. I can't believe what a mistake I just made. I don't think this is going to cost us too much, especially with Raw getting 19,000 fans there. And SmackDown getting 15,000, so that's 100% the lowest we've seen so far, and only made $2,000. So, WCW still sitting pretty comfortably at the top. What a stupid mistake. Man, pay attention. Uh, care to explain why you showed up out of nowhere to interfere with my match? I thought we were all on the same team. No more out of the crease. Okay, that's good. Oh, did not see that coming. Thanks for showing up. I have my back fish off. I won't forget it. I remember I run this yard. Increase. Good. Good. Okay. So, do I just start the show by just trying to get something right here? <sighs> I 
because she still has it to the moon card and it just it won't grow because I messed up but that's okay so that's, that's how this show will start all right and then in the uh, free agents still a lack of fighters there got big Olaf uh, Ostrovsky seen him around from last uh, last year's game geriatric <laughs> geriatric that's so funny <laughs> okay uh, maybe but uh, not for now at least Ooh, Jody Garcia again oh she's back to 45 popularity we got that we got her popularity pretty high at one point mm, yeah we got it pretty high oh make that work another cruiser Whitney Quaid maybe what 10 weeks 10 weeks this will all yeah and where is this will help right cruiser yeah this will help with um, this will help with gaining the overall roster popularity growing up so that is good and then I guess this could be for the tag team right I haven't I don't have a mid card title I just have good stuff on the go um, we'll leave it for now okay so then we could need a rest 40 47 45 not the best um, so then have that go up to three hopefully um, and where is stamina with everybody else 51 and 84 we can grow this one to level four for the pay-per-view ple sorry 73 stamina where is austin 54 like that and that way this was a, still level one that's annoying uh was there another level two there is good so we'll get the bonus there and we'll i'll end up moving that to number one and then slot this in there Poor Zia Lee, I probably should have, just got a, should have got a bruiser, but uh, that's okay. Um, oh, and these guys are going to be off the show. <sighs> so stupid. If I want to do that, or how is the stamina of McStones and Orton? Okay, so maybe just look at it like this. Popularity 93. Stamina not bad, so he doesn't... That's okay. Stamina is 51, so he won't get hurt in a normal match. But we are going to go ahead and flip it. And it should do better than this one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Should do better than that one. This will do... Backstage Brawl. We didn't sign any free agents. Well, any costly free agents at the moment. So that should be good. Get the 10,000 fans. And this is level three. So we'll put that one up. Should I just make this for the mid card? Just sitting there. The hardcore title. Yeah, we're going to make it for the hardcore title all, all of a sudden. I, I can't do that to Hogan and, and Stone Cold. So, okay. So you're role changing again. Because I didn't get the message across for my fans. Uh, and then... You're going to call that up, and we're going to go and spin off into a tag team rivalry. So is this even worth doing? I need to do one of them, so... Yeah. Backstage brawl, normal. Normal. Title match, normal. Show logistics, we won't get the bonus for the road crew. But we will for all the others, which is good. And then... Just... Is NW, I don't think I have, I only kept one of, oh, another NWO member there and six behind my head. Maybe I can just have a whole, uh, whole NWO overrunning uh, WCW started up again. I don't think I have the NWO Kevin Nash though. I think I just have the normal one. We'll see. I forget. He popped up already and I, I already forget. But okay. So leave that for now. That's okay. And then that's all good. Title match, backstage brawl, good. 
So who's going to be the WCW Hardcore Champion? It is Sami Zayn. He's going to be a triple crown, uh, a triple, a triple crown, a triple crown winner for WCW. That's uh, he's two thirds of the way there. Io Sky heel again. Okay, perfect. Stone Cold versus Hollywood Hogan. Austin picks up the win, and now moves it to two. That's perfect. Three and a half star. Did this work? It did in a weak promo. That's okay. Sammy Vortex. Flip McStones versus Randy Orton. Randy picks up the win in a non-title match and grows it to two, so that's good. Carmella calls out Rhea. That's going to go to level three. That's good. And the main event, backstage brawl. Shinsuke Nakamura's stamina is pretty low, but that's okay because it grew to level three and in a three and a half star match. Good stuff. Roxanne Perez is already their champion, and she has a chance to be a double champion, teaming with Gigi Dolan against Nikita Lyons and Indy Hartwell. And in the main event, normal they're all normal match except for the <laughs> Ezekiel versus Finn Balor backstage brawl. Okay. And then over on SmackDown, the tag team titles are AJ Styles could become a triple champion. So I actually want to see this. Oh, he can pull it off, but it is a four-star uh, match, so that's good. That would have been insane. I've never, I've never seen a triple champion. Uh, it is Raw having a pretty good card. SmackDown with a great opener. They have the best, uh, best one of the night. That is at level four. That's at level two, level two, and level three. So that can pay off. This can pay off. That's just getting started. Perfect. That's at level one, level one. Cameron Grimes injured for five weeks. This is the first injury I've actually seen happen, which is, that's tough for Raw. He was, uh, I think he's 100 uh, popularity. And over on SmackDown, uh, one, two, one, zero, no injuries. So that's good for them. Show quality C, match card quality B. 26,000 more fans for us with another $120,000 coming in the bank. So that's good. Raw show quality D again, back to back show quality Ds. And uh, only $4,000 they got there. We made a lot of money for having a backstage brawl. I just realized that. Good for us. SmackDown, 37,000 fans. Wow. And uh, they lost a little bit, but that's a good gain. But we are just like, we are running away with this. We almost have a 400,000 fan lead on Raw. And uh, I hope to get to uh, 500, 5 million fans this episode. Uh, I've gotten talking to Garcia. Good. This is exactly what I wanted. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go, Eosky. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Sure. Let's see how your team works out. Uh, I'm really excited about the PLE. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're good. These are two promises we're going to be able to get, and this is fantastic. Um, do not book your most popular bruiser this week. That is probably Rhea, right? Sammy 98, let's go. Oh no, it's McStones. So we can have them in a match. If I have, this is still the question mark. Could Randy Orton still call out McStones and I fail though? Good. Nice. And McStones stamina is lower, so that is good. We are going to have, this could open stamina 50 and 50. That should be okay for the, for the PLE. Women's title match on the line. And the main, and you know, not the worst case. This doesn't go. We can push that longer to the next few. But maybe I want Sami Zayn going after Hollywood Hogan. We will see. We'll see, because I'm going to do this first. We can do... Uh, do I want to make this... No, we're not going to put it in the main event, and it's also not going to be a tables match. Just in the small chance, you wanted to team with Jody Garcia, and it is going to team with Whitney Quaid and Sammy Vortex. So that should really line up nicely. And actually, I am going to put a tables match because the face team is very low on popularity. So we'll do that. Uh, is it just title night here at WCW or what? 
Um, you are taking the night off. Can I move this to... Nax's stamina is pretty low. Austin's is kind of low, but not that bad. So... Austin versus Hogan. And then in the main event... Sammy versus Bates. It's going to be at, at, at the PLE. It's going to be interesting to see how low Sami Zayn's stamina has gotten. But we're going to put the title on the line. We're going to have a call out to push to level four, which we are going to do that. And then getting back on the show is Zia Lee with a self promo. Are there any free agents who can help us out here on that woman's side? We are looking for what, a heel bruiser, right? And we don't have one. Right? We're missing one? Mm, yeah, so that's unfortunate for... For Zaya. Do I see a legend I want to... Heel Bruiser. Heel Bruiser. Yeah, there's Kevin Nash. Looks like it's Wolfpack Kevin Nash. Um. Nothing for Xylee at the moment. Okay, no problem. This we're going to get for sure. This we have not got. Hold on. Did I? Well, this is what? This is three special match sites run in for GM interferences. I have at least one on the show. Uh, normal table. Okay. No one's morale is, uh, Austin's morale is, is happy. All kind of nothing there. And just kind of smiles. Um, hmm. What do I want to... I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Alright, that's fine. What am I... For the... Uh, oh, power cards. Almost missed that. Immediate get. That's starting to be quite costly, which is kind of annoying. Um, I have a few free agents, eh? Or is it just Eosky? I think it's actually just Eosky. And the rest are... Gonna sign you permanently, gonna sign you permanently, I think. We'll figure that out when we get there. Okay, uh, the other power card was double cost. I'm gonna veto Raw's champ. Should I veto AJ Styles at, uh, oh, if he, if he was a triple champion, I would have done that to SmackDown. But uh, they're just so far behind, I'm gonna do it to Raw. Sorry, Raw. And then... That's it for now. And this and this will get uh, the To The Moon activated on Sammy Vortex, which is good. Okay. Let's go uh, the Go Home Show before Extreme Rules. I think we'll be able to pay off a few at the, uh, at the PLE, this being one of them. Title match in the opener, Rhea Ripley versus Carmella. Rhea Ripley retains. Amazing four star, that's now level four. That's now level two. So did that, that, that not grow? That's not the worst. That can continue at the uh, into the next run of things also. Titles on the line. Mid-card title match. And it goes to Io Sky and Jody Garcia in a two and a half star match. That's perfect. That's kind of what we wanted. That is level four. Perfect. Stone Cold versus Hollywood Hogan. Was this at level three already? No, it wasn't, but it is now. So that is going to pay off as well. Good promo from Xia Li. And hardcore title time. Sami Zayn versus Tyler Bate. And Tyler Bate wins the title. As this is changing back and forth. That was a just a title match. That was four and a half stars. So really like to see that. Over on Raw. Tables opener. The rest are all normals. So that's okay. That should be pretty good. Classic matchup. And then over on SmackDown. Uh, it looked like... 
Oh no, it's not, not a... Oh, it's extreme... Are they all extreme rules? Every single match on the SmackDown card is extreme rules. This might be a really good show. But you find it straight... Whoa. Four and a half star open... Oh, SmackDown, their main event. We got amazing booking with the four opener and four and a half star main event. SmackDown had a really, really good opener. Uh, that got them four and a half stars. And then the mid, the second mid and main event just kind of went downhill from there. This is even level two. Maybe the classes don't match up. But uh, that stuff. They still got good booking though. Interesting. Uh, and Raw got amazing booking as well. They, yeah, they had really good shows also. Okay. Sh match card, or match quality C, match card quality B. 39,000 fans plus $219,000. That is good. Uh, yeah, so this is another good show for us. Just outdo Raw fan wise and really outdo them uh, cash wise. And then SmackDown show quality D. Uh, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. It could have been worse though, the, how that show tailed off. We got a double cost, so that is good. I think that was for benching uh, uh, McStones. So we'll see. He'll, he's going to have a main event spot, and so will Rhea Ripley. Hey, what was that stunt you pulled last show? Ha ha ha! Mick Foley. Uh, you like that? Gotta get dirty if you want to win. Stupid Mick. If you want to play it like that, if you want to play it that way, fine. Watch your back. Okay. Uh, I told you. Got, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Good for you. Increase the EOS guys' morale. I'm not happy with losing strap last week's former champion. I'm enacting my rematch clause. Well, it's a hardcore championship, so I should go get it. Um, I want a championship rematch. Okay, before anybody else. Okay, I can do that for you, Sammy. I can, I can, I can. Okay, I have at least one steel cage match this week. Okay, would you give me something nice for that? Injury rehab might need that for Sammy Zane. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Popularity 100 Tyler Bate. Let's go. I really hope. Ooh, if Tyler Bate wins that, who is a free. F anybody, really, could go get that. Okay, so I think he's going to keep that. Um, in. Balls count anywhere? I don't want Sami Zayn to get hurt. Well, probably will, though. Men's title match. Another f no. I hate to use the fixed match right away, but gonna do it for Tyler Bate. This is gonna end on him being hardcore champion as a specialist is a, a pretty good thing. So we'll keep it like that. And that's the opener. And then in the close, 96 94, just got it over Flint McStones. Because it's Randy Orton who's so low. So this will definitely be that. And this could be our steel cage match. Good. Whoops. Title. Title again on the line. In a... Oh, things called Extreme Rules. There'll be an Extreme Rules match for Flint McStones versus Randy Orton. There is two more to pay off, I think. Yeah, this... Hmm... What, this is at level two? I should almost not even do this. Because I have something going for... N oh, yikes. Okay, no, I'm... Not having this on the show. Whoops. Seems like a stupid thing to do, but it's going to make sense. It's going to make sense. Because you don't want to just go into the next run of things with no... With no rivalries going. So... Because that's going to end. We can... We'll put this in an Extreme Rules match. Get the little... Little bonus. We can have... Uh, this has got to end. Uh, what are your popularities at? Not great. Okay. Can we put that in Extreme Rules also. And then... Just to keep this one going. Tag Team. How are your staminas? 87 and 79. Like that. And then... Stamina 73 and Stamina 86. Like that a lot. And we can go ahead and play the other uh, to the moon. And I still have this guy here. 
which is good. To the moon on Sammy Vortex again. To have her bump up. Sweet. So she's going she's gonna to be over 50 after this match, which is great. And if she wins the title, she might even be in the 60s. I think we should qualify for all of the... Ooh. 150,000. I'm, I'm probably the only one in position to buy it, so I will. Get that. And we got the optional bonus. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't book the this yet. Okay. What we are going to... I'm not even going to call them out. I'm going to just do self-promos from Flint McStones. Zia Lee and one more who we are gonna sign uh, steel cage promise right uh, oh, nice we got two more promises completed in the same match unreal okay and then for, for signing free agents kind of want to use Gunther but they're just I don't have any cruisers on the show um, we finally have a bruiser for Zia Lee. Um, anybody else? Oh, wait a minute, but uh, Tyler Bate is a specialist. Yeah, but I don't want Walter going after the hardcore title. Do I? I think I just want Walter. Sorry, Gunter. No, 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 no. This is going to be 44 weeks, 60 popularity. He can be up next against... Oh, you know what? I need a heal bruiser for Stone Cold. And we are going to do... Is this permanent? We are going to sign Otis for Stone Cold's next rivalry. Who saw that coming? And any legends available? Um, and just no. I'll start next episode by signing a legend because we'll we'll play the uh, the power card that we have. Um, yeah. So we'll call that for now. Book our last promo slot of. Otis. Perfect. Perfect. So that's going to continue on to the next PLE. This as well. And then everything else should be ending. Perfect. And Sami Zayn hopefully doesn't get hurt. Uh, title on the line. Title on the line. Just get myself out of the way. Title on the line. Perfect. Let's go. False count anywhere. Tyler Bate. Versus Sami Zayn, fixed match, legendary, five star, didn't even play any cards for that. That's good, no mention of an injury just yet. Excellent promo from Flint McStones, got some six popularity. Fantastic, extreme rules match, Stone Cold versus Hollywood Hogan, and Hogan wins it. An amazing four star match. Randy Orton with a promo, excellent promo from Randy as well. Extreme rules match, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Roman Reigns. Roman wins. You know what? <laughs> That's who's going to take on Stone Cold. Oh, sorry, Otis. I'm just handing away money here. Zia Lee with an excellent promo. Perfect. Tag team titles on the line. Tables match. Whitney Quaid and Sammy Vortex win in a three-star three, three star match. That grew to level one. Perfect. Otis. Excellent. Just, we just cut four excellent promos in a row. So good for the talent there. And then... Steel cage match for the title. Rhea Ripley versus Carmella. And Carmella is the new uh, WCW champion. Interesting. Interesting. In a five-star match also, which is good to know. Okay, so Raw. Don't book anything. Uh, they're... <laughs> Ilya Dragunov has both the, the WWE Championship and the US title. All the matches are normal except for the main event, which is a tables match, and there's only two uh, there's only two promo slots booked. And over on SmackDown, we have a backstage brawl and a tables match. All the promo slots are used, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, we vetoed we vetoed Raw's champ. That's true. Ha! Brawl. 
Okay, so I we're definitely winning this with a five star opener, four four and a half star mid, and five star main. I should have switched the. I just should have started with the, the women's tag team title match and worked my way down, but that's okay. Uh, injuries, none. Way to go, Sami Zayn. Uh, rivalry complete, complete, complete. That is at level one, complete. Okay. Show quality C, that's annoying. Match card quality A. 166,000 fans gained. Another 120,000 uh, earned. Okay. Raw show quality D, match card quality B. We just gained 70,000 more fans than Raw. Ooh, and SmackDown, show quality, match card quality C, 84,000 fans and $20,000 earned. I think it's safe to say I made the right choice by holding off a million dollars and starting with a, uh, a, a small roster and letting it grow from there. Free special effects. Flip mix zone, so we just surpassed the 5 million fan mark. And we are over 400,000 fans ahead of Mick Foley and getting close to being a full million fans ahead of SmackDown. We're going right into SummerSlam. Is there, whoa, is there no shakeup? Your show really topped the charts. How do you manage to pull it off? Kurt Angle, just my biggest fan. I listen to my stars and spend my cash wisely. Like that. I have to say, you really crushed it. it shows game recognized game. So the, the, are these guys are just giving up, I think. Gonna give credit to the superstars again. 93 popularity, Sami Zayn. Thanks to the rematch, he's gonna be sad he didn't win it. What's Otis gonna ask for? A little disappointed. That's on me. You held up your part. Yeah, I played the fixed card. But hey, he's happy though. Small increase. I think you should put me in a match with Austin. That, <laughs> that was the plan, Otis. That was the plan. And by the time I record uh, next three weeks, maybe I can get it done. Maybe, maybe by the next time I record, it will be back to being Austin versus Otis. We will see. Okay, so here we go. I can, this this was this is crazy. This is this is a seasonal card. All free agent contracts prices are halved, and all the free agents. And all free agent popularity gains are doubled from matches and promos. That is crazy. That is crazy. Tag team rivalries have a uh, have a chance to gain two levels instead of one. That's kind of cool. And uh, too good to be forgotten. Superstars don't lose popularity while injured. That one's pretty cool, also. But this is how do you say no to this for the rest of the season? Free agents are half price. And popular like. Theoretically, if I do this right, I should just have everybody being 100 popular. Well, obviously not, but like I should have a good chunk of wrestlers who had... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And this might just see us through to winning our WCW My GM series by the end of Season 3, which would be quite the feat, I have to say. So if you've watched uh, along until this point, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. One more thing you can do for me is like this video. Uh, leave a comment down below of future uh, future series you want to see me do after this. Uh, let me know if you like the ranking videos. I think I mentioned that at the beginning. And, uh, and, and subscribing to the channel. The channel growth has been fantastic over the last week. I can't, uh, I can't express how happy I am with that. So it's just been amazing. Uh, for the uh, for the WCW my GM next episode will be coming soon and as always thanks for watching